So here are some settings to avoid if you're editing your videos in CapCut. If you're like me, then the reason you use an app like CapCut to edit your videos is because you're busy, you have things to do, and you want to quickly edit a video and get it posted. So when you get slowed down by having to redo an edit because the settings weren't right or things just weren't the way you wanted them to be, it can be a huge pain and it's super aggravating. So number one, by default, CapCut adds their little logo thing at the end of every project. And it's really easy to delete. You just select it and then hit the trash can and it's gone from your project. But in your CapCut settings on the top right, there's a gear icon and there's a setting in there to disable the default ending entirely so you don't have to worry about deleting it or forgetting to delete it and then having to go back and do it later. Now, I'm not a perfectionist when it comes to editing my videos, but there are a few settings with CapCut that you can avoid to increase the quality of your videos for the viewer. Number two, this is a background music and sound effects thing. So whenever you import your background music or sound effects to CapCut, they're gonna play at the maximum audio level, which is usually around 92% higher than they probably should be. And I've talked about this before in previous videos, but anytime you import your own background music or sound effects, always lower the volume. Since I get both my sound effects and my background music from Epidemic Sound and they're the sponsor of this video, let me show you what I mean. So I'm gonna log into my account here on my phone at epidemicsound.com, just using my browser. I like to find the new background music that's available because they're releasing new music all the time and they have a ton of different styles and genres. And what's really cool is with an Epidemic Sound license, it covers my YouTube channel, my TikTok, my Instagram, and I don't have to worry about running into any copyright issues there. So I go through, find the songs that I want to use or I think I might want to use. I like to hit the little heart icon that saves that to my own list list of favorites, then I can find them and download them later, whether I'm editing a video in the future on my desktop or my iPad or right here on my phone. So I'm gonna download a couple of these, save them to my files folder on my phone here. And if you wanna give Epidemic Sound a try for yourself, you can use a link in the description and try it for yourself completely free for 30 days. So these downloads go right onto my phone. I open up the files app and then all you have to do is select the music file and import it into CapCut. It'll go right into the project that you already have open. So all you have to do is select that music track. You can see those waveforms there and just hit volume and just bring that slider down. Usually I bring it down to about eight to 10%. And it's the same exact process for your sound effects. You just select it, come over here, bring it into CapCut. And when I'm zoomed in here, you can see we have this tiny little waveform here. That is our sound effect. And just bring the volume down, test it out, see what's gonna work for your video. Now we can't talk about CapCut settings without talking about the text and automatic captions because there are a ton of different options and they're great, but there are a few downfalls that I want you to watch out for. Now, one of the cool things about CapCut is the auto-generated captions. I love, love, love this feature, but you do have to go through each and every automated caption to make sure that it's accurate. I wish there were some customized settings that you could set for this to make it a lot easier and then you wouldn't have to do it every time. And maybe there are and I just haven't found them yet. But if you let your captions stay super long, not only are they gonna be harder for the viewer of your video to read, but they might actually get cut off when you upload them to TikTok Reels or YouTube Shorts. So you can edit each one by selecting it and hitting enter to just break up those long sentences. Another thing that I personally think you should avoid with CapCut is using the handwriting font or anything that is going to be a little bit hard to read. When it comes to those automated captions, the whole idea is for people to be able to read them. But the ones I think are really easy to read are classic, blood, even serif might be good to use too, but a lot of these other ones are just a little bit more hard to read. And just make sure before you export that your resolution and frame rate aren't set to some like super weird low number. I export mine at 1080 and 30 frames per second. And while CapCut is a really great free editing software, video editing can still be really overwhelming. That's why I created the Social Video Blueprint, which is a completely free download. It includes my BFF editing method, so you can edit videos faster and create more of them and be 
be consistent with your video creation and your uploading. I put a link to that down in the description along with a link to Epidemic Sound so you can give that a try for yourself.